Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the third edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today is our lesson number 120. Day, day 3120, three is to signify the fact that we are in the third edition. Third edition, day 120, we are in the topic of permutations and combinations. And today we'll have our last lesson, the 10th video in the series of 10. If you want to watch the first five and this 10, 10 this, the letter five videos, six through 10, we, we begin with day number 116, 116 through 120. The first five videos were done from day number 96 to 100, day 3096 to 3100 for day one through five. And then from day 101 through day 115, we did 15 lessons on probability. This is the last one. This problem as it, as it is noted here, is not in the textbook. So do not try to look for it, you will not find it. I'm going to read the problem to you. Here's, here's the deal. Here's how we're going to play the game. I'm going to read the problem to you. And once the problem is read, you will pause the video. And I would like you to try to solve this problem yourself. And once you have done so, then resume the video and then compare your work against the work that you and I will do in a few seconds time. As, as is the case always. Do you understand? This is something you must always do, even if I forget to remind you. So here's the problem. Here's the problem. It says, it says, three people are to be picked at random. That's important. Three people are to be picked at random, at random, from a group of five people. And among these five people, from a group of five people consisting of a pair of twins. Among these five people, we have a pair of twins. The question simply is, what are the odds that the twins will be picked? So there are five people. We're going to put their names in a container there. We're just going to pick five names at random. We know two of these people are our brother and sister. They're twins. Um, if I'm going to pick two people at random, what are the odds that I'm going to end up picking those two people among my three people that I'm going to pick? So out of those three people, two, are, two of them are going to be twins. Pause the video. Do it yourself. I'll give you five seconds for you, for you to be able to do just that, and then we'll do it together. All right, first thing first. First thing first, first thing we have to figure out is how many possibility are there of picking three people out of five, which is a simple permutation problem. We have five people, we're gonna pick three of them. We're gonna pick three of them. Since there are five people, there are five ways we can choose the first person. There are four ways we can choose the second person. And there are three ways of choosing the third person. This is very straightforward, very simple. It's just 20 times three. There are 60, there are there are 60 possible permutations. Nothing to it. That's the simple part. The question is, out of those 60, let's, let's, let's erase the problems. So we have some more room. Now the question is, if we were to pick two people at random, if we were to pick two people at random, the question now is, out of out of these 60 possible permutations how many will have oh, by the way these are the answers I said I forgot to tell you this thing is a bit too late in the story I know that uh, one quarter three tenth two fifth three fifth and two third out of the 60 possible permutations, how many will have, and let's give these people name, let's call these people, let's call these people A, B, C, D. Well, let's not call them A, B, C, D, and E because it might confuse you the answer choices here. Let's call them, let's call them P, Q, R, S, and T. These are the five people, and let's just pretend that these two are the twins. P and Q are the twins. So out of the 60 possible permutations, how many will have P and Q? That's the question now. So we know 60 is the total. How many will have both P and Q? If we can figure out, we can figure out the odds. Let's do it together, shall we? Let's do it together. We don't need this part. We don't need it anymore. So the easiest, the simplest, the quickest, the most economical way, the 
simplest, the quickest, the most economical way is to simply enumerate all, possi all the possibilities all the possibilities of group of three people containing A and B all of them I know it sounds silly but this actually in fact counterintuitively it is actually the simplest way to go about it it's sort of, it's sort of sitting there and looking at it analytically just enumerate them all the possibilities let's do it on top here keep in mind that P and Q are the twins so if P and Q are the twins P and Q well there you go P and Q are the twins P, Q, R, S and T maybe we can P, P, P and Q with R like that first pick P then Q and then R or we can have or we can have P, R and then Q or Q, P and R I really shouldn't have, shouldn't have changed from A, B, C, D, E because my notes are in A, B, C, D and this is, this is requiring me to think a little bit or another possibility is to change the order instead of picking P first and then Q everything else is going to remain the same Q first and then P and then R you see this is requiring me to think a little bit what happened next then we had we brought the R here and then P and then R in the front and then R in the R in the front and then Q and P I hope that's correct. There are six ways. There are six ways that we can pick. I really wish I should have stuck I, I, that I had stuck with ABCD because this is this is requiring me to slow down and think a little bit. So what we see here, what we see here is that there are there are six ways to pick to pick P and Q. with R. As you can see there, there are six ways. Similarly, similarly, there are going to be six ways, there are going to be six ways of picking, well instead of rewriting everything, instead of rewriting everything, let's just, let's just let's start here. Similarly, similarly, there are six ways to pick P and Q with P, Q, R, S, and T with S like this wherever we see R replace it wherever we see R replace it replace it with S there you go and again again one more time there are six ways of picking P and Q with T with T again for the same reason wherever we see S replace it with T that's all it is that's all it is that's all there was we pick a different color where is my red one so now we do T there we go so there are six ways that we can pick that we can combine A and B, oh sorry, P and Q with R, and then P and Q with S, and then P and Q with T. There are 18 total ways. There are, all together, there are, all together, Eighteen different ways of picking both P and Q out of sixty possible. permutations. I hope you can read that low. 
we already established that there are 60, 60 possible permutation and we just established also that out of those 60, 18 possible uh, permutations are going to be there where you will see A and B being picked even though we are picking people at random. Let's continue on the top. So that's it, we're done. That's it, therefore, therefore, let's continue on the top, this part here. So we established that there are 18 out of 60, that's all. Therefore the, therefore, the odds of picking both P and Q are 18 out of 60. 18 out of 60. 18 out of 60 is the same as 6 times 3 over 6 times 10 is just 3 tenth. The odds are 3 tenth. The correct answer, here, here are the answer choices. Here are the answer choices 1 quarter, 3 tenth, 2 fifth, 3 fifth, and 2 third. The correct answer is there's a 30% chance. There's a 30% chance that if you were to pick 3 people out of 5 at random, and if there happens to be a twin among those five people, then there's a 30% chance, three out of ten times, you will find that among your three people that you have chosen at random, you, you will see the twins. That's all. There's 30% chance. That was the end of the topic of permutation and combination. We're going to pick up from where we left off. I'll tell you where we're going with it next. So, we were on page number... Well, before we went to this was this one doesn't have a page but but before we went to page 321 before we went to page 321 we were on page give me a second just give me one second We were on page number 307. That's where we find, that's where we find 306 and 307. And now, tomorrow, we will do the problems. We will do the problems that you find on page number 317. Page, page 317 is what we're going to do next. And after we finish those problems, beginning with page number 317, then we're going to pick up whatever is left over, whatever we haven't done yet, on page number 321 where you see the data analysis exercises. And there are only a few of them left. We already did we already did problem number six through ten. We already did problem number eleven through fifteen. So there are three problems left there because it ends at eighteen and then first five problems in the beginning, one through five and sixteen, seventeen and eighteen. There are eight problems left and, and the few that are there beginning on page number three seventeen. We are getting very close to being done with the whole book. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.